Greetings from Munich, Germany. I am here at this beautiful uh, square in Munich and I am uh, on a mission to visit uh, a beautiful uh, royal palace and that is called the residence over over there just in front of me and I will uh, try to share uh, what I can film uh, inside and hopefully they will uh, allow me to uh, to do my uh, walk and talk video uh, inside we will see we will see as the saying goes so I'm walking toward the uh, the entrance here it's basically this uh, royal palace is um, has two sections the uh, the royal apartments and the uh, and also the uh, the treasury uh, department Let's see where the uh, where the entrance is it's the other side over here That is where you can buy the, the ticket, I would imagine. There is also a coronavirus uh, test uh, center here. You see, uh, here is the entrance and uh, surprisingly enough, they don't want me to use a GoPro camera. For some reason, so uh, so I switched to uh, the iPhone. Um, now I'm using the iPhone uh, camera, and here is where you buy the uh, the ticket over here. And the last entry is at 4 uh, p.m. I just bought the ticket uh, for nine euros here, and uh, and here I am uh, finding my way to the. Uh, to the first section of the probably I need to leave my pack back here I'm carrying a pack back I have to leave it uh, here here is the uh, the first uh, section and you have to leave your uh, your pack back over there you see where I am pointing if you're carrying a pack back they will not uh, let you uh, enter the uh, the, the palace and here is a really really beautiful uh, beautiful uh, spot over here you see all these uh, decor on the ceiling and it's really really nice it's beyond uh, beyond the ability to uh, beyond my ability to describe what a beautiful place um, all right I get enough uh, Photos, and now uh, gonna find my way to the to the next section here. I'm really glad that uh, they allow me to uh, to do my uh, walk and talk video here and share with you what uh, what I see. So this video will uh, definitely. Uh, give you the chance to decide whether you want to include this uh, in your uh, itinerary or not and the entrance fees it's just uh, it's just uh, 9 euros you know it was gonna fall by the way you have to be very careful when you walk there so I was gonna trip and here is the uh, here is a wonderful uh, opportunity for uh, photos as you would imagine a lot of people are lining up to get uh, a spectacular uh, photo it's very very picturesque is that the word to use picturesque I'm not sure here you go I would imagine this this photo will be uh, perfect in uh, in, uh, in any postcard I think you already saw this one on Google images if you uh, Google this place this one of the uh, photos that you will see so now let's uh, walk uh, 
walk this way and uh, surprisingly enough uh, the whole place is to uh, myself you look uh, it's really really uh, it's a really amazing place you see and because of uh, COVID uh, less people uh, visit uh, Munich right now and I would imagine this place would be very packed during the summer but the, uh, the winter time not a lot of people visit uh, Europe it's cold the weather is cold and uh, let me uh, let me turn around the camera and show you uh, show you where I came from I came from that way and now uh, I will see where this will uh, lead me to and there is a a sign here, an arrow, that shows uh, that I should go this way. Uh, this way. You see? And there was a lady uh, up there, was standing up there, and I asked her to uh, to give me a photo. And uh, and I, I, I got the opportunity to capture a lot of uh, photos. And here is the... Uh, I'm not sure if this is the uh, Royal Apartments building or not. Okay, perfect. Uh, there is a toilet uh, and, and restrooms here in case you want to use the toilet before you continue your uh, your tour. Let's uh, see. Uh, let's uh, give you a view of uh, what's uh, what's outside. You see. You know, uh, the whole palace is to myself now. I'm the only one. I'm the only one that is walking. Walking here. Where are the other visitors? Uh, looks like there is nobody else besides me. This would be a rather nice video for whoever is uh, planning it. Uh, a visit to, uh, to this uh, house and I'm really surprised they, uh, they allow uh, uh, photos and videos but no flash, they don't uh, allow a flash and, uh, and what else, uh, yeah for, and uh, if you're carrying a backpack you will have to leave it at the uh, entry Also, the GoPro camera, you don't allow GoPro camera because it has a grip, the handle, the handle, the hand uh, grip, you don't allow that. And here is the, uh, look at the uh, chandelier over here, what a beautiful, what a beautiful art on the walls, wow, it's beautiful. It really is. Hello. Hello. You see. This area is closed. You cannot walk uh, um, upstairs. zoom a little bit give you a close up you know I have visited many many uh, royal palaces uh, in the past uh, before I uh, started doing YouTube stuff and I, uh, I really feel bad that I did not uh, film my uh, my previous visits to the lot of uh, beautiful palaces and uh, but most of the palaces uh, don't allow uh, uh, videos and photos inside I'm surprised that they allow it here nobody is complaining so far we will see maybe this guy will say no no photos we will see Look at the arts uh, painted.
painted on the uh, those uh, plates. Beautiful. About this side too. You see, no complaint. And there is an audio guide that you can rent. I think it's free if you have a, a ticket. And they give it to you for free. And uh, and there is a number over here that means uh, an audio guide. There is an audio guide that you can use in case you are interested in uh, learning the basic facts. But I'm just uh, giving, I'm just walking uh, through the palace to just to give you uh, to get a better feel for what uh, for what this uh, wonderful place is like, what is this? Is this a, a bedroom or what? You know, uh, you know, I should have got my uh, audio guide. But if I do, uh, if I get an audio guide, I will not be able to film. Uh, to film, you know. You see. But at least uh, they have, uh, you can read, you can read here. If you don't want to get the audio the guide, you can only, you can just read whatever it's uh, written on the, on the wall. There is the uh, small bedroom, living room area. All right, on to the next uh, room. This is called the yellow cabinet. It's a, a small room. Part of the Electra's private apartment was originally appointed as a tea cabinet. Hmm, interesting. Let's go back to the uh, to this uh, little uh, living room and let me uh, read the uh, the description of the room for you. It says uh, it's called blue. Uh, cabinet the small cabinet right next to the electors bedroom was the innermost room in his private apartment and uh, and the bedroom is uh, there's quite a fair amount of traffic going on here I don't know what's going on so many people you know, so many security people work here anyway uh, this is the bedroom and I'm looking for the uh, description of the bedroom over here. I found it. It's called the uh, Elector's uh, Bedroom. The Elector Bedrooms was decorated with rich carvings and stucco work after 1760 to designs uh, by France, Francois Sovilis. The decor was destroyed in 1944. Hmm. All right. Uh, Let's continue. Uh, let's continue. Basically, I'm reading uh, what is written here on the uh, on this uh, side. I really don't like to film using the uh, the iPhone because of the shaky images. I'm trying to hold my phone uh, very carefully, and this is called the Electress uh, bedroom. Its wall once hung with red damask. This bedroom was the most richly appointed room in the apartments of the electress at the time. This is the electress audience chamber in the 18th century. The audience chamber of the electress contained only a canopy, a throne, and two uh, commodus. The room was destroyed in 1944, but after the Second World War, it was rebuilt, refurnished, and decorated in a, a neutral. Uh, style. Wow. This is 
is really, really impressive. I would imagine this piece of art cost millions of dollars, if not billions. And uh, this is the uh, the electric second uh, uh, chamber. As the original 18th century furnishings and fittings were lost, the room has been reappointed in line with its original uh, function. You're now visiting the palace with me. So if you're still, uh, if you're still uh, watching uh, this video, and what this room is. Uh, this is the electrist. Uh, this room was originally the official entrance to the electrist's uh, private apartment. Hmm. I really like this uh, chandelier, really nice. I wish they allowed uh, GoPro camera because a uh, GoPro camera doesn't uh, shake uh, a lot. The image seems to be uh, stable on uh, GoPro cameras, but on iPhone, it's a little bit shaky. Church of uh, All Saints. The church suffered great destructions in the Second World War and it was not until 2003 that it could be opened again for the public for concerts and other uh, other functions. Mm. So it was closed until uh, 2003. And now it's open to the public. Look at the uh, look at the design of those uh, columns uh, downstairs. This this probably is the theaters. It reminds me of the uh, the Ottoman Empire uh, uh, architect uh, design. It look uh, similar to that. You know, the Ottoman Empire uh, reached all the way to Europe, uh, Eastern Europe, uh, Romania and Bulgaria and Hungary, Croatia, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. First uh, court garden room. And 
this is the second court garden room I have to be very quiet by the way they don't uh, allow people to talk I guess yeah when I went through when I walked through that uh, theaters that you saw earlier the gentleman told me that I'm not allowed to uh, to take videos and, and talk he said you can take videos but do not talk do not speak I said all right so uh, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to uh, keep filming and uh, keep quiet reception room it's really really huge uh, palace I must say you can easily spend uh, three hours here and it's really quiet I am just by myself here I don't see any other uh, visitors now uh, now there are two uh, two ways to go uh, this is the uh, long tour it goes this way and this is the uh, short uh, short room goes that way so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, long tour since I still have time on my hand. This is the uh the room of the prince this is a room of justice it's called the room of justice here and earlier that was the room of uh, the prince and that's what's written on the wall I have to be whispering now because I cannot talk I'm not allowed to talk I guess and uh, look at this room I don't know what this room is no uh, no description on the wall here and this is called the entrance room this is called room of judgment So see other uh, visitors I'm not the only one here finally look uh, want to look out the uh, window 
to see what kind of view I see. Yeah, that is basically the entrance where I was uh, there earlier. I went through that entrance. I'm not sure if you can hear me clearly. I'm wearing a mask and also I have to be a little bit quiet so I can uh, and uh, I'm basically whispering now. I don't want them to hear me so they, they won't complain. This is called the Four White Horses Hall. This is the uh, stone rooms. This is the uh, room of uh, the elements. I'm not quite sure what that means. Wow. Probably this is gonna be the only video on YouTube that uh, will uh, give uh, the entire uh, visit. Uh, this is called Room of the World. sure what that means probably later I'm gonna have to uh, rewatch this video and uh, and do my uh, research uh, to understand uh, to understand the uh, the basic uh, facts about this place this is called room of the seasons and this is the room of the eternity Uh, started to get low on battery so uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to film the whole thing I'm running out of battery Really, really huge palace, you know. With uh, you know, if I uh, if I were a billionaire, I would not uh, I would not uh, buy a palace. If they give me an option, whether you wanna uh, leave, uh, that's uh, thank you. This way. Yeah, if I were a billionaire and uh, I had the option uh, to live in a palace, I would uh, I would rather uh, live in a small studio. I don't like to live in big places like this. This is huge. What a beautiful wow! They're huge. This huge palace. Oh, 
Look at this huge hallway. So I have to go outside and it's actually a different ticket that you can buy to enter the, the theaters and they close in about uh, an hour and I said why not just go and uh, explore it and now I'm using my GoPro inside they, uh, they did not allow uh, GoPro I was just using my iPhone and my iPhone ran out of battery so uh, I'm not sure why they allow iPhone but not uh, GoPro and um, they told me that I have to walk for uh, for 500 meters to access the, uh, the theater uh, section it will be this way and probably it's uh, if the entrance is here we'll see it's totally it's in a different uh, different building not in the same one uh, this line is for uh, coronavirus uh, testing over here I just entered the theaters uh, the theater building and I'm just by myself here uh, I had to find uh, my way to the uh, to the theaters just outside the building there is the uh, the, uh, the entrance to the theaters it's really really beautiful beautiful uh, theaters wow look at this it's really beautiful amazing see if I can walk uh, give you a better view just see uh, look at it from the uh, from a different viewing point You see, wow, it's really, really beautiful, spectacular. Look at the uh, ceiling. All right, I'm gonna find my way out now before the uh, security people uh, complain about uh, talking and uh, and uh, filming. I just uh, stepped outside the uh, the theater building and uh, for some reason they uh, they don't allow uh, people to talk uh, inside the building inside the building was so quiet so I could not do my usual walk and talk video so anyway I hope you enjoyed it uh, though and uh, for now take uh, take good care uh, bye bye